Hello, I'm Denshi. Before I start, I want to know that this video is for people who know how to homebrew their Switch and a Switch that, you know, can be homebrewed is in your possession if you want to actually do this. Uh, if you're having trouble, feel free to join Exolix's uh, Discord server. It's very excellent for tech support. And uh, maybe join mine if you need specific help with this specific guide, if I, I don't know if something seems wrong to you or something. This program named SysDVR allows you to stream video using the capture function from your Nintendo Switch to your actual Linux or Mac or Windows machine because it was written in, it was made, you know, with the .NET SDK. And uh, the first thing you're going to want to do to start streaming over USB, this tutorial is for streaming over USB with the very low latency, and, you know, it, it, it actually looks good. You're going to want to download SysDVR client by clicking on it and SysDVR.zip. Uh, once you've got both of those, you're going to want to essentially go over here and extract sysdvr.zip to your Nintendo Switch. So, let's pretend this is my Switch SD. I'd grab these and I'd extract them over to there. I've already done this, so I can apply it all and overwrite. That doesn't really matter. So essentially, your Switch SD, just extract, extract the sysdvr zip to there. Then, extract the client zip to the, uh, just go to my desktop, sysdvr, any, any folder that you just, that you want to run this program in. Whoops, I accidentally opened it via wine. Whoops. Uh, that's not supposed to happen. I just cancel that. Yeah, there we go. But anyway, uh, extract this to literally anywhere. Like, for example, here. Overwrite. And there we go. We, we basically, just any folder you want to run the sysdvr program in. Uh, before I start with showing you how to configure it on your Switch, I'll recommend some packages you need to install to get this to actually run. Uh, the first thing you actually want to do, though, is sudo vim etsy pacman.conf and you're going to want to enable the multilib thing so normally there would be a little well actually let me go into insert mode so i can represent this there would be little uh, number symbols before these just delete those to enable the multilib library right quit i'd also want to note that the um this does not work on manjaro i've tried it out on manjaro i don't know what's wrong but it just doesn't work this only has worked for me this is uh, Vanilla Arch, just Arch with KDE, obviously. Uh, the packages you're going to want to need, so just yay, I'll have this, I'll have all these commands linked in the description. Minus S so to install, maybe actually update your database too, because you're going to have to do that for the multilib. You're going to want wine, you're going to want mpv and .NET runtime. So install all of those. So I've already installed them, so it's just upgrading them for me. So yeah, you're going to want to do that. Uh, now moving over to the Nintendo Switch. It's finally time to actually enable SysDVR with USB streaming. So press A just to open any kind of game. Uh, hold down the R trigger and you'll open up into the homebrew menu as you can see. And go over to SysDVR settings. So press A to open that up. And you know, here we are with the SysDVR settings. Uh, select the option stream over USB and press A. And then as you can see here it will say SysDVR streaming, streaming over USB. If you want it to stream over USB on boot, so every time you boot into custom firmware, it will just automatically start doing it. It might take a couple of minutes to start, but you can click on set current mode as default on boot. And yeah, quit real quick. Uh, close this program, and then we can open any game, let's say Sonic Mania, without holding down the R trigger, so it just opens up regularly. And uh, as you can see, there's uh, Sonic Mania loading up on the screen, and now I'll show you how to stream. Okay, so now that you're done with that, we can finally actually stream. So you've plugged in your Switch via USB, and you click that option for streaming via USB. Time to CD into, well, I have my specific SysDVR folder on my desktop. And then you're going to run the command .net, well, actually, sudo, you have to run this with sudo. sudo .net sys dvr client dot dll and then the usb option to stream via usb press enter and as you can see it started the stream to actually open the stream you can click on this link and uh, it will open it via mpv automatically so there we go we're streaming sonic mania uh, or if you really wish to play this in a different movie player it, it should just default to the one you have installed i just have mpv if you want to open it manually you can do mpv then copy paste this specific link and then it will just open it up in MPV. But I normally just 
click on this open link and then it just opens it in MPV for me. So that's really good. So here we are streaming Sonic Mania from my Switch. I can, I'm looking at it right now. I'm looking at it. There's a little bit of delay, obviously, because USB isn't perfect and the streaming function on the Switch isn't perfect either. But the picture quality is good. This is how I do my Pokemon stream, just in case people ask me. I don't have any form of capture card. I just do them by this. There are a couple of limitations. Like, for example, it's limited to 720p 30 FPS. And you can uh, look at more specific details on the actual GitHub page. There's a couple of stutters there. Obviously, if your USB cable isn't perfect, or if you have like a bandwidth limitation, or more specifically, uh, I don't know, there's just a lot of things on stream. It's not perfect, but it works really, really well, and it's much more affordable because it's completely free than uh, buying a capture card. Thanks for watching my video. This was how to stream from your Nintendo Switch to an Arch Linux machine using SysDVR. Feel free to check that GitHub page. Feel free to check the Discord server of the developer. It's a great Discord server, I think. It's, it's very, very nice for people who like Nintendo Switch homebrew. And uh, yeah, thanks for watching my video. I was Denshi. Goodbye. <laughs>